Pro of YouTube. Back with a quick video. This is gonna be a, an unboxing. I'm not gonna make it too long. So get right to it. This is uh, actually from GP Car Audio. Y'all can see, basically, this is a, a glue it and screw it enclosure. And like I said, it's from uh, GP Car Audio. And um, this is actually my third glue it and screw it enclosure from GP Car Audio. My first one was an MDF. And then the second one, which is the orange one, that's a, a 13 ply Birchwood. But the difference between those two and this one, I got this one uh, made. I got this one uh, made a little bit bigger as, as far as the port, port goes. I think on here on the spec sheet it says. 72 inches for the port area so the port width would be 4.78 and height 15.808 the port length is the port length is uh, 36.97 so basically the the dimensions on this is the width is 33 inches the height is 16 and a half inches and the depth is 24 inches. And it's uh, four cubes, which is the four feet, and tuned at 32 hertz. So yeah, basically I got the port, I added uh, to the port area and made it a little bit bigger. That way it could um, move a little bit more air. And I actually, I had to actually get that custom made. So I had, I talked with uh, Tyler from GP Car Audio and he hooked me up. Basically told, he uh, basically recommended what was best for the, specifically for that Phi, the Phi Neo that I got, the 4.7 uh, Phi Neo. This one is a, is a 13 ply birch wood as well. they have listed the biggest they have is uh, I think Tyler, from what Tyler told me it was 16 inches uh, per square foot I believe the one that he made me or the one that he cut out for me was supposed to be 18 inches per square cube so there of course that's the top of it GP my other box said the same thing. Um, 
basically is just, like I said, this is just to glue it and screw it. Nothing special, nothing too special. There's my, um, there's the internal brace. This goes right in the middle. And of course I got mine double baffled. There's a double baffle right there. It's just basically the same thing as my other enclosure, but just, just a little bit bigger as far as the port goes. That's the only thing that I had that's that's different, that's going to be different on this enclosure, is the, the port area. It should be bigger. Yeah, that's basically it. Probably take me a couple days to put it together. Uh, once I get it put together, I'm gonna hit it. Or uh, of course I have to sand it down. But I bought a um, an electric sander just so I don't have to do it by hand. And as soon as I get it all put together, I'll do a video showing what it looks like after it's put together. That way I can see how the difference between this pour is versus the other boxes that I have. And of course I'm gonna hit it with the with the stain and then a and then a, a light gloss afterwards. So and I'll do a video of me uh, staining it and then hitting it with the gloss. That way I can see what the what the end result's gonna look like. But um basically all I had to show you was this Gonna be quick. It was like I said, it was a quick video. Been waiting. I actually had to wait a little over four weeks to get this box sent or delivered. So Tyler said he had a whole bunch of a lot of orders, especially on back order. So he got it. He got it to me a little over four weeks. But I can't complain. Especially how, especially you know. The fact that, that he got back to me and, and cut it exactly how I wanted it. So, I'm happy so far. Everything looks to be in order. Yeah. But that's basically all I got for y'all. To the next one.